In this video, we are going to be trying on this Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. And here we go. That is really, really light. If your concealer shade is constant, this is like science. Once the whole face comes together, that it really does just come together, you know? This is gonna look real light, baby. Okay, so foundation is done, and in this video, we are going to be trying on or really re wearing this Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. This is the shade 4.35, it's a soft matte concealer. I stocked up on these a while ago. This is tried and true, one of my favorites. It's just been a while since I've used it, and I feel like the ones I have are expired. So I did pick up some more at Morphe this weekend at the mall, and I recall this being my shade. Now, the foundation that I have on today is a Revlon foundation that's in a different video that I'm reviewing. Make sure you watch that. That. It is deeper than my skin tone. It is what I like to do. It's all gonna come together and build. You'll see at the end. Now this particular shade I know is going to be lighter than I normally would do when I take a foundation that is deeper than my skin tone like this. So this foundation would match me much better if it was summertime. It's winter time. However, I'm trying out a different foundation and that's the only shade that I have. But I'm gonna show you how to make a concealer work for you if you haven't changed it. If you haven't gotten something darker, right? If it's summertime and you've gotten darker and you're still using a concealer from wintertime that is too light and you'll know when I put it on I'm showing you right now how to make it work right so do you see that that is really really light but you're gonna see it all come together and then in the winter time you may be able to go back to this shade of a concealer you know what I'm saying I don't want to confuse you but and it's the damp sponge elf cosmetics all links are below make sure you're following on all socials too the fact of the matter is that depending on the actual actual foundation shade that you're using, your concealer is going to show up differently. It's either going to look very, very bright or it's going to be not so bright. You see what I'm saying? So for me, if you've watched any of my other videos and you know, and note as we're talking, note that I'm starting in the middle of the eye and then going outward, pinching the sponge. Okay. This is a damp sponge. Watch my video on sponges to see what I mean by that and what it looks like if your sponge is too wet. Okay. Your concealer might look really light or it might look not so light depending on the shade of the foundation that you're wearing. So if I were to wear a foundation that matched my skin tone more than this particular shade, C4.35, would not look as light. When your foundation is darker and you keep the concealer shade the same, if your concealer shade is constant, this is like science, then your concealer is going to look different, it'll look lighter. But if you lighten up your foundation, perhaps match your neck and chest more, then it will look a little bit different. So for me, when I'm choosing concealer, concealers out of my stash when doing makeup. I do tend to choose based on the shade of foundation that I'm using. So I have a lot of concealers because of that reason. If this is clear to you at all, please comment and let me know. If you're still confused, also comment and let me know. As you see, I'm pinching and going down the side of my face and then pinching and getting inside the inner corner. And here we go. So I know that this still looks light in general, but you're going to see once the whole face comes together, that it really does just come together, you know? Now I'm stepping back and looking in the mirror to see how it all comes in. And because the shade is really light, I made sure not to pull it too close to my hairline. There's no need for that. We are going to contour, but still, no need to pull a very, very light concealer to the hairline. It'll make the blending more difficult than it needs to be, okay? I'm taking the same shade, and now I'm going down the middle of my face. This is gonna look real light, baby. But the key also is to not take so much. If this concealer shade were deeper, I could take more product if I wanted to and have a field day, right? Be blending it till, you know, Jesus comes. But because this shade is really light, I'm taking a little bit and my foundation is not set. It's still wet in a way. And in that case, it blends easier with the actual concealer. And you see how I just took a little bit that was left over on the sponge to then put underneath my cheekbones to reverse contour, basically. I'm highlighting under the cheekbones and it makes it look like I've already contoured when in fact I have not always highlight up my upper lip area and then of course just the t-zone in general i like it and i'm pouncing so 
press, let it go, press, let it go. And when I'm letting it go, I'm doing a little wiping motion, okay? And that's just gonna further spread the concealer where I want it to go. Clearly, I don't want the concealer to really spread too far on my forehead because I am going to contour. But what I did just now, and I need to explain because I did that just so effortlessly, is I took my sponge, I pressed it into the paper towel that's right in front of me, it's always in front of me, and that was to take away the concealer that was on here or as much as I could and then go in and blend. Because when you're blending your concealer, there really are two steps. You're applying and you're blending. So once it's applied into the area you want it to go, I no longer, in many cases, need the concealer to be on the sponge. I now just want to blend what I've already applied down. So again, I'm wiping some off and now I'm just blending the harsh lines, the lines around the area that I actually applied the concealer. Does that make sense to you? Comment and let me know. Okay, now to me this is still looking very subtle and even when the foundation, when I, when I had it on the first time, I think it looks really, really good. And this is a soft matte concealer. I literally could go without setting this concealer, but you know me. I'ma do a whole set, I'ma do a whole set situation. So, so right now I'm contouring with the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Bomb Foundation in the shade 098. So here's a close up of the face before I complete the finished look. And I think it looks really beautiful. Okay, so close up on the concealer on my face in the under eye. Let me know what you think about it. Of course, the full face is done. I've set it, that's important. I just always set my concealers. But you can see that although it was wicked light when I first started, it really has come together. You see what I'm saying? So comment, let me know if you use the Morphe concealer. If so, let me know what shade you use and if you like it. Also, let me know if you're stuck with an I say stuck with because I know what it feels like to buy stuff thinking it's your shade and then you're like, wait a minute, this is too light, this is too dark. Usually it's the too light. Usually our issue is that it's too light. So let me know what you've done with these. Have you returned them? Have you given them away? Have you trashed them? What do you do with concealers that are too light? I wanna know and I hope that this video helped you. Essentially, use a little bit and blend, 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 okay? Comment, let me know if this helped you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.